Kotoka International Airport in Accra, Ghana is the country's premier international airport and has the capacity for large aircraft such as Boeing 7478. The airport is operated by Ghana Airports Company Limited, which has its offices on the airport's property. Like in many airports around the world, there are quite a number of challenges posed to aviation safety, one of which is bad aircraft strike hazard, BASH, or commonly referred to as bed strike. What is a bed strike? A bed strike is a collision between an airborne animal, usually a bird or a bat, and a man-made vehicle, especially aircraft. The onset of man's ability to learn to fly, they took the cue from birds in the skies. And so with that comes along with it, the competition of birds in the skies with man-made birds, that is the aircraft. And as birds cannot be uh, deprived of the skies, we man-made birds, the aircraft, have to compete with their presence. And as the aircraft continue to be developed in years, birds have posed a serious danger to aircraft as well. Wildlife hazard is catastrophic to aircraft operations. What happens is that the powerful suction action of the aircraft's jet engine sucks the bed into the engine destroying the blades. As we all know, the propeller blades and the engine blades are made of titanium. So when these blades are affected, it affects the controls of the aircraft that can result in an aircraft accident or incident. On the 15th of January 2009, US Airways flight number 1549 took off from LaGuardia Airport in New York at 3.03 p.m. on its way to Charlotte North Carolina with 150 passengers and five crew members on board. As it gained altitude, it reportedly ran into a massive flock of birds, according to the New York Times, and the engine began making noises and lost power. Heading north without engine power, the pilot of the Airbus A320 changed course and in what some described as a heroic but calm act glided into the Hudson River. Fortunately, no lives were lost. This incident brings to the fore the problem of birds at the Kotoka International Airport and other regional domestic airports and airstrips in Ghana. Birds are a serious hazard to aviation. A bird or a flock of birds that suddenly rises from a runway or surrounding area may possibly cause an accident which might damage the engines or body of the aircraft. At the Kotoka International Airport, we are taking bird hazard management very seriously. We've done a lot of studies to find out the kind of birds that are within the vicinity, what brings them around. I mean, why are they attracted to the airport? And we are not only looking at the airport, we look at things that happen beyond the airport. In the vicinity or within an airport, activities of uh, uh, birds have been heightened due to human activity, the human presence. What we do impacts on the numbers of air, uh, birds that, that congregate within an airport. And birds' presence in an airport that are dependent on their livelihood. They will be looking for food, for shelter, and for water. And so human activities that generate these uh, uh, events, these commodities, food, shelter, and water, will naturally bring around birds to an airport. In line with the requirements of the International Civil Aviation Organization and the Ghana Civil Aviation Regulations LI-2004, 
it is important that an airport service provider has in place an effective wildlife hazard management system. This is to take care of wildlife issues within 13 kilometers radius of an airport. This cannot be done in isolation. This needs the contribution and collaboration of other stakeholder agencies like the municipalities, the zoning authorities, the EPA and the community as a whole. Bear strike is an aviation issue that requires ecology and its management. So when Ghana Airport Company approached the Ghana Wildlife Society and the Animal Biology and Conservation Science Department of the University of Ghana to look at the problem, we started off by trying to identify the factors that um, were responsible for the presence of the birds and other wildlife at the airport. We did an extensive research that covered, um, lasted for over a month, about two months. And we found out that the Kutuka Airport and its environment, its immediate environment, has got lots of birds, so many bird species. But we also found out that not all the species are, you know, pose any security or any threat to um, airplanes. We identified about over a hundred species, but out of the hundred species, only about three or so are really, really hazardous. And these are the pied crow, the hooded vulture, and then the yellow bell kite, which people usually refer to them as the hawk. What attracts birds to airports? Airports provide a variety of natural and human-made habitats that offer food, water, and cover. One of the first steps in reducing bird hazards is to recognize those attractants. Usually, several attractants acting in combination are responsible for the presence of birds and their behavior at the airport. Food Birds require relatively large amounts of food. Most airports support an abundance and variety of foods such as seeds, grass, insects and earthworms. Seeds are sought by resident bears such as vultures, crows and bats. Occasionally, food becomes available through careless waste disposal practices by restaurants, especially local food vendors, in and around the airport. What attracts bears to airports are unsanitary conditions, the creation of refuse dams, abattoirs, farming activities, and everything that could result in serving us food for birds can bring birds to an airport. The three most hazardous species that we found at the airport and its immediate environment through our research have all happened to be scavengers. And we also found out that the airport and its immediate surrounding areas provide a lot of feeding opportunities for these birds. And according to the International Civil Aviation Organization, the airport is environment is considered within 13 kilometer radius from the center of the airport. In Accra, if you take it to the west, it goes as it goes beyond the airport residential area, it goes beyond Lima up to Newtown. All these areas have got a lot of open air refuse dams that are not collected on time to so always provide scavenging opportunities for these scavengers. So you can realize that all the way around East Legon, getting to even Ebri, and then when you take off before you get onto the sea, and then there are other surfaces around the airport, all these areas are within the 13 kilometers radius of the airport. And it's not just Kotoka International Airport, but we are talking about all airports and airstrips in Ghana. Michael has made us look at not only bad hand, handling, which cause havoc to uh, danger to aircraft, but also all other animals that can stray into uh, the aircraft whilst that's landed or whilst it's rolling out for takeoff. 
So under that umbrella, therefore, we now have what we call wildlife uh, management. And that's supposed to include now the birds. So we realize that uh, though the birds prey on uh, what they can find, we also find wildlife like dogs, uh, cats in the night, bats in the night, and other species of animals that find their way are crossing runways. In line with ICAO standards and recommended practices, it is important that waste and refuse disposal within a 13-kilometer radius of the airport be properly handled in a collaborative way. Land uses which have caused specific problems at the airports are fish processing, agriculture, cattle feedlots, garbage dumps and landfill sites, factory roofs and parking lots, artificial and natural lakes, golf and polo grounds, and slaughterhouses. Several habitat management practices that make the airport less attractive to birds are being practiced. Unfortunately, these precautionary steps can only be monitored in the immediate vicinity of the airport. Beyond the airport, many other factors come to play. We have uh, uh, purchased a very uh, dependable bed dispenser equipment installed at the airport that sound uh, can create a sound or sound of beds and these sounds can help drive beds around the airport away and we are able to also enhance the performance of this equipment with the presence of our bed management team that routinely uh, found uh, around the, uh, the, the runway and the taxiways and their presence have contributed immensely to reading of uh, birds' presence in the airport. As a body, we're trying to come together with the other bodies to possibly come up with a, a regulation that will help if in let's say allocating a land a piece of land to any organization close to the airport there are certain things that should not be encouraged I mean assuming you have a fish farm close to the airport or you're doing fish farming or you're breeding baby horses or anything that birds flock towards it's not really conducive for the industry so these are the things we are looking at at that is let me say beyond the airport but on the airport i think we've done a good job so far managing the habitat we've been able to reduce the presence of birds so far the issue of waste management is something that we all have to take serious being human or in a human society we generate waste so we should find uh, the most appropriate way of managing our waste we should have proper waste disposal practices we don't have to dump waste anywhere what we need to do is to keep our environments clean and safe to prevent the attraction of scavenger bears from coming and impairing with aircraft operations. Help the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority and the Ghana Airport Company Limited to safeguard aircraft operations in Kotoka International Airport. Let us all join in the combat against bear strikes by properly and promptly disposing of refuse and keeping our environments sanitized always.